থাইল্যান্ডের রাজধানী ব্যাংককে শুরু হয়েছে দুদিনব্যাপী আন্তর্জাতিক মোবাইল সাংবাদিকতা সম্মেলন কনরাড অ্যাডিনিউর স্টিভ টুং মিডিয়া প্রোগ্রাম এশিয়ার উদ্যোগে আয়োজিত এই সম্মেলনে বিশ্বের তিরিশটিরও বেশি দেশের প্রায় দুইশো জন প্রতিনিধি এই সম্মেলনে অংশগ্রহণ করছেন দুদিনব্যাপী এই সম্মেলনে থাকছে মোবাইল সাংবাদিকতা নিয়ে একাধিক কর্মশালা মাস্টার ক্লাস এবং প্যানেল আলোচনা We thought Asia would need a mobile journalism conference just because of the fact that digitalization is so advanced in Asia. Um, I think in Europe we are still discussing about digitalization and Asia is already advancing uh, with digitalization which uh, has to do clearly with uh, so many app developers and the techie scene that is really flourishing in Asia. That's the one side. The other side, however, is that we have a clear deficit of freedom of press in Asia. So I think Mojo is the solution to this, um, that we really can link up those two factors, those two defining factors for, Mojo, uh, for journalism in Asia in the in the 21st century. So this was basically the idea to start the first mobile journalism conference uh, of Asia. It's our first event. We are a very small team as well. Uh, in Singapore, six, six to seven people. We are very excited. This is our first time event of this kind. And um, yeah, definitely, if everything works out fine and smoothly, uh, we, we will definitely think of doing it again uh, next year. I think that the uh, work that's being done in Asia and South Asia in particular with regard to mobile journalism is among the most innovative and exciting in the world. I think this is partly because there's a real demand for instantaneous news in this part of the, of the world. Uh, that I'm not saying that's not the case elsewhere, but it's almost like people want the news faster than in, it has to be of high quality. Do you see what I mean? And so I think there's a comfort level with doing things on smartphones. I also think this is an exciting region because all of the big smartphone manufacturers, with the exception of Apple, are based in Asia. So you have an immediate connection to the manufacturers of the smartphones. A lot of the apps are made here as well. So I think this is a very exciting crucible of just innovation and the possibility of more innovation into the future.